What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. So people are losing their minds because the man who shut down human sex trafficking across our southern border is now screening a movie, the number one movie in the world, Sound of Freedom, at his private club. That man's name is Donald Trump. And the people who made that movie, Jim Caviezel, Tim Ballard, and Angel Studios, held a private screening at Donald Trump's Bedminster Club last night. Bedminster in New Jersey. The screening was really, really a beautiful sight to behold. I was watching along with many on social media, Jack Posobiec tweeting this image of Donald Trump. You can see right there, classic hair, next to Jim Caviezel saying, President Trump sits in the front row with Jim Caviezel on one side, Tim Ballard, the guy, the man that the movie is based on. On the other side, he hasn't moved an inch since the film began. This tweet doing numbers, 10,000 retweets. So this is what it looked like. They screened it outside. Very cool showing here. Uh, Donald Trump uh, said, you made this the hottest movie in the world. It's made $100 million. They are on a run today. But people are saying, of course, the, 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 the liberal media tried to trash it as an anti-human trafficking film, QAnon-influenced. Interesting how they actually trotted out uh, predator protectors at Bloomberg and at The Guardian, people who have openly advocated uh, for reducing crimes for people who commit sex crimes and commit horrible acts against children to bash this movie. Well, um, hmm. Seems like you should maybe have a, a, a little star by your name saying this person is a predator. Maybe that's why they don't like this movie about human trafficking, cutting off the sources of their sick and demented worldview. Trump praised The Sound of Freedom star Jim Caviezel during the screening Wednesday night at his golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey. Uh, the Trump comments looked like this. Donald Trump sort of got up and talked. It's hard It's hard to hear, so that's why I'm not playing the audio here. This was a clip that was posted, I think, by Posobiec, um, but uh, tough to hear the, uh, the audio. But Donald Trump uh, thanking the people who made the film. Trump congratulated uh, the producers of the film and the Homeland Security agent of whom the movie is based. And the film has made $100 million at the box office. Trump then went ahead and did uh, a podcast with the uh, crew. This is Tim Ballard. He has a, a podcast himself. Jim Caviezel is there. And uh, they they went and, and did a podcast. To my knowledge, that's not out just yet. That's not out just yet. But the biggest thing to come out of this uh, moment is that Jim Caviezel, uh, President Trump is going to save the children, the likes of which you have never seen. You might even say he is the new Moses telling Pharaoh, world cabal, to let the children go free. Wow. Mr. President, you are the new Moses, but I'm still Jesus. <laughs> Jim Caviezel tweets. Dude, is this really Jim Caviezel? Yeah, this is 87,000. Okay, it's really Jim Caviezel. It's a photo of, uh, photo of Jim Caviezel and Trump there. What a great, what a, what a great tweet. Oh, man, that's good. Jim Caviezel calling Donald Trump Moses and saying, I'm, but I'm still Jesus. Of course, Jim Caviezel famously played Jesus in the Passion of the Christ. Uh, he said as much on Fox and Friends this morning to the shock of host Brian Kilmeade. We have to do a lot more. And we got to start with Donald Trump. What do you mean? Well, he's got to be in there because he's going to go after the traffickers. Do you think he would? Do you think he understands that? Uh, I, I, we, were, we were with him last night. Oh, I didn't know that. Minister, yes. Yeah. Oh, we so showed... he's going to be moved to do this, do something. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. He wasn't he's gonna... last night. This is the new Moses. I mean, I'm still Jesus, but he's the new Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Pharaoh, let my children go free. All right. I did not know that was an impressive screening at Bedminster, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Eduardo, Jim Caviezel, great to see you again. Yeah. Congratulations on all your success. I can't say I'm surprised, mm. but I know how intense you are. And good job. This is the people's movie. God bless you. Absolutely. Meanwhile, uh, thanks, America. Watch Sounds of Freedom in theaters and pay it forward. So that was Brian Kilmeade finding out that Trump had watched The Sound of Freedom with Jim Caviezel last night. Brian Kilmeade was not invited. What a strange world where the hosts of Fox and Friends would not be invited to this. But here we are. Jim Caviezel, Donald Trump is the new Moses. Kilmeade in total shock. Yeah, along with the rest of the uh, predator and pedophile protecting media, Trump hosts screening of Sound of Freedom. A hit with QAnon devotees. What? <laughs> Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, QAnon devotees. So people that we don't like have watched the movie, and that means the movie's bad. Got it. it really has reached the bottom of the basement.
when these people can't just appreciate a movie that is against human trafficking. So you're in favor of human sex trafficking. Is that what you're saying? It's a multi-billion dollar industry, and that is that what you're saying? Ladies and gentlemen, we had the honor of having Jim Caviezel on our program and talked about this, specifically about Joe Biden and what Joe Biden's predilections are as it pertains to biting children. Uh, Jim Caviezel did not pull any punches. Listen to this. It makes our skin crawl. We do talk a lot about politics on this show and a piece of video that crossed our screens on our cell phones um, from last Friday was Joe Biden essentially biting a, a child. You can see it here. We'll pop it up on screen. He's like uh, biting a, a stranger's kid, like going and, and nibbling a child. I, you're a father. I'm a father. I would never let a demented pervert like this anywhere near my children. You know, how dare you touch a, uh, another another person's child like that? Um, and it, it does speak to sort of an underlying disrespect of children, whether you yeah, look, you know, look at the parent, though, that's sitting there and just admiring him for it. I'd have pushed him off so quick. What I would mean, you do if Joe Biden, if Joe Biden did that to your child, Jim, what would you do? I, the Secret Service would have tackled me because I'd have popped him. Yeah, because that's a in, deeply inappropriate way to, to touch a child, right? You shouldn't put your mouth on a child and bite it. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a right to do wrong. Yeah. You know, and that's what they've made it. And and the, but as far as Christians, we continually are marginalized. Uh, and uh, but this is no more. I mean, there's got to be a new sheriff in town. Yeah. Uh, you know, our Lord threw people out of the temple. And this has this is the line right here where we have to throw them out. Yeah. All Christians have to come together and. I don't know if this group of um, pastors and bishops will do it. I, I've seen them mostly just sit on their hands. I've lost so much respect for them. And when we did the Passion of the Christ, I saw it. I mean, I'm a Roman Catholic, and we had maybe six bishops that stood for our film. The rest of them ran. Now, eventually, they did come over and support the movie, um, but they did it when the public did so they wait until um, someone else leads. They lead from behind. And uh, I'm tired of it. Um, and so is most of the public. And, um, and then this this uh, this idea of um, gospel uh, prosperity um, Bible is crap. Because a Christian has to be God's weapon where he's willing to lose his name, reputation, job, title, even his very life to stand for the truth.